Advances in technology over the last 100 years have allowed scientists to better understand our ocean. CSIRO is Australia's national science agency and a world leader in the development of innovative ocean research technology. Take a look at how things have changed over time. Modern sonar systems use multiple beams of sound to map the seafloor quickly and accurately. These systems can map the deepest parts of our ocean, reaching down 11 kilometres below the surface. They produce ribbons of mapped seafloor called swaths that can be up to 30 kilometres wide in a single pass. It's a long way from the sailors of old using lead weights on lines of rope to measure the depth of the ocean. To measure the physical and chemical properties of the ocean, scientists use an instrument called a CTD. This is a fundamental tool for ocean science and has sensors that measure water conductivity, temperature and depth. The frame of the CTD also carries a rosette of bottles that can be programmed to collect water samples for analysis from different depths in the ocean. Ocean research vessels carry all this equipment, as well as marine scientists like me, out to sea. Since 1984, CSIRO has operated a series of dedicated ocean research vessels on behalf of the nation. The fleet has included the ocean research vessel Franklin, the research vessel Southern Surveyor, and currently, there's the multidisciplinary research vessel RV Investigator. But gone are the days that we could only investigate the ocean by sending people to sea. Today, we have robots and autonomous equipment programmed from shore that can monitor the ocean 24 hours a day, every day of the year. Robotic floats travel up and down the water column, measuring ocean properties at different depths and uncrewed surface vessels sail the ocean's surface, collecting data that contribute to our long-term climate record and mapping the sea floor. But with all the amazing advances in technology, some things still stay the same. The Continuous Plankton Recorder, or CPR, is a mechanical instrument that is largely unchanged since it was first developed and deployed in the 1920s. It is still used in modern ocean research to this day, providing a consistent and comparable record of plankton diversity. It's important to understand that science needs time to gather and analyse data that can provide us with insights about the world around us. Right now, our ocean needs help. The more we are guided by scientific evidence, the better we can be at managing our ocean to thrive into the future. Learn more about the amazing technology used to study our ocean at the One Ocean Our Future exhibition at the Australian National Maritime Museum in Sydney.